Mainstream medicine views autism as a mental disorder. And when you put autism in that category of mental disorders, you're pretty much disconnecting it from the rest of the body. So basically, the treatment modalities you have for autism end up being psychotropic medications. But you're really not treating the underlying cause. And in mainstream medicine, we're really not trained to treat what's causing the disease. There is a direct communication between nervous system in the gut and nervous system in the brain. And so molecules produced by neurons in the gut can affect the brain function and molecules produced by neurons in the brain can affect the gut immune function. Because these two systems are interconnected, we cannot separate them. We have this, it's the same nervous system in the gut versus the same nervous system in the brain. One of those interventions is to give a digestive aid or digestive enzymes. Digestive enzymes are, come in a variety of different uh, forms, and so there are products out there that are over-the-counter that aid in digestion for carbohydrate-type substances. Many of the products are mixtures of, of, of products that allow you to absorb or digest fats proteins and carbohydrates better. And the prescription enzymes primarily are a mix of, of replacement products for what the pancreas makes but may be lacking. We find that enzymes are very helpful in that group of kids who show malabsorption. They're very helpful in children, I think, to help regulate the nature of their stools. And so they're helpful for us in children who may have chronic diarrhea uh, and maybe even some of the children with chronic constipation. We uniformly see that when we intervene on these abnormalities, they do so much better. But I think you might need to shave because of your beard. Can I see your beard? Oh, wash it off? No, sh yeah, wash it off. I wash it off. You know, when it comes down to replacing something like milk with water, and a couple of vitamins or maybe some different food or trying to not feed your child wheat products or a lot of complex carbs um, it takes more effort sometimes than it does take money i follow around 4,000 patients with autism right now i do see a lot of children um, recover it's hard to predict which treatment will help which child which makes treatment very very difficult because each child is their own, has their own genetic background and they've undergone specific genetic and environmental um, perturbations, I guess, or insults. And when they come into the office, I have to sort all this out and try to figure out what's going on in this individual child and then what specific treatment will help. And in many cases, it helps them get to a full-fledged recovery. That whole idea is a, cha is a fundamental challenge to many of the premises that we think modern medicine rests upon. I, I, what I'd suggest is that's what modern medicine should be about uh, because that's what's getting results. But that's a challenging idea to, you know, to, to a lot of people and, a, and, a, and a, lot of, uh, a lot of institutions. So on two fronts, you have a challenge to the interventions themselves because we're saying that the interventions might have caused some of the harm. And on a second front, we're having a challenge to the whole model of therapy and treatment because we're saying the things that you're used to doing that you like to do, that's not what helps our kids. You know, here, here's a whole model of things that are different from what you're used to doing, what you're comfortable doing, and that's what's getting results. Those two things together are a huge challenge. So why would you not expect resistance from that? Someone's child may respond really great to, you know, B12 shots. This one did not. You know, so you just have to take information in and put it through your own child's filter and and see how that how that works for you but it's been I, we would be nowhere nowhere with him without the internet you grow old and get a great job and you make lots of money and you take care of me when i'm an old lady Bill? got it the support i've gotten from my family is considered about fifty percent of what made me feel better my mom just simply didn't give up she kept on persevering Constantly trying to do this, spending hundreds of dollars just to get me better.